How many times have you ever apologized to someone because they were sick? Like, not um, on their dying beds, but just like they have a cold or the flu or whatever. And you're like, oh, I'm so sorry that you're sick. So one day my daughter did this. And um, my daughter, she's 11 now. She was probably like five or six at that point. And, you know, sometimes I just say things before I get what I'm saying. And this was one of those moments that I was really talking to me more than I was to her. And um, I had ended up blurting out to her that she wasn't, a, she wasn't supposed to apologize for something that wasn't her fault, right? And I just started going into this whole explanation about apologies. And I'm like, when we say I'm sorry and we're apologizing, we are taking responsibility for our choices that contributed to that experience. I was like, I'm sick. You had nothing to do with me getting sick. It's not like you were sick and then you coughed all over my face. Um, and I had to explain to her the difference between, you know, empathy and apology. And I told her, you know, going when you're when you're empathizing with someone instead of apologizing and taking that responsibility, you need to give your condolences and let them know that you empathize with them. You you feel for them in a way, right? And that really just kind of brought all the things back. And I'll talk more about it soon.